Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. It's the day after the night before. I'll tell you all about it. But first, with my own sound effects, whoosh, Cinderella 1, Cinderella 2. There we are. This is Cinderella 1, and this is Cinderella 1 Plus. And they both can be seen on Ustream. But here's the thing. This Sunday, because we've just finished Jim's Sunday sandwich, me and the two girls doing a hem plecking and a falolipit and all naggy motion and fiddling willy and uh, right. And so we are now showing on Sunday, the first time ever, how me and Alan Rogers wrote the songs to Cinderella Live, uh, Cinderella 2 and Boobs in the Wood. In fact, all the mucky pantos. So it's me and him round the piano trying to remember how we put the things together. It's really, really good. Here's a little clip. In 1990, I decided to produce a few adult pantomimes. The big problem was, is that you couldn't take songs and alter the words. So what do you do? We wrote our own. Oh yes, we did. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Oh, Alan Rogers, the poor bugger. He was a, a school teacher before I plucked him from the classroom and took him out on tour. Now he's doing the tour for Strictly Come Dancing, surrounded by all them girls with orange legs. Isn't that just fantastic? Well, so you can see that on Sunday. And don't forget on Ustream, it stays on there. We're a streaming channel. Watch it when you want, when you want. I sound like one of them people on the end of the adverts, you know. So, God reserve jewellers, and at the end it's 50 98 percent of the 50, 90 percent of adults at 18 years of age, and over half your If you're not going to be your home, could be repossessed if you don't keep up with the mortgage payments. Those, thank you. Anyway, so there you go. This Friday, which is tomorrow, which stays on for a long while, is Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones, the fantastic comedian. If it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be me. So it's his fault. He's great. I call him dad. He calls me son. Threw down my gun and I called him a son. And if I ever have a son, I'm going to call him Bill, George, anything but Sue. Anyway, so Jimmy Jones is on this Friday and it's called A Cultural Night Out because Jimmy is a bit of a cult. I think I read that right. Anyway, so that's it, Jimmy Jones. And if you want to see Jimmy Jones live, hurry up. He's 80, 89, 88, something? 84. He, he looks a bit older. And uh, he's doing... He did The Comedians. We're recording a new series of proper comedians last night in Southsea. Uh, me, uh, Jimmy Jones, who's a million, Duncan Norvell in his wheelchair. He used to be, chase me, chase me. Now it's push me, push me. It's great to see him back on stage again and recovering slowly. Uh, John Maloney, Ricky Lane, oh, Danny Postel, and a brilliant, brilliant comedian called Jerry, Jerry K. Kerry J. Jerry K. Who? J. Jerry K. Jerry Kay, he's a nice little man. He did the best joke ever because he's, he's a black man about this big, but he's about this wide. He said, with no clothes on, I look like an OXO cube. I miss myself. Not having OXO again. You don't know where he's been. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want to come and see the show tonight, it's night two tonight. And if you're watching this and you saw it last night, it's different jokes. They've all got to tell different jokes. And that's what it is. Jokes. Jokes. You know, you young people listening, what jokes are. No, you don't, do you really? Jokes are what grown-ups laugh at. What we used to laugh at when we were your age. Dip your toe in the water. You will love it. Go down to South Sea. South Sea is a sort of bit... Go down the coast until you hit Portsmouth and then turn left at Portsmouth and you can find your way to South Sea. It's sort of posh, but it isn't really. And on the pier, it's the, the pier, the big pier with the funny... Thing. There's the Gaiety Bar, that's what it's called, and it's not what you're thinking, there's no rainbows, but it really is a bar full of gayness and fun. And I have to tell you what happened to me yesterday, so I get there, and I've got no cufflinks on my shirt, I get my shirt out, oh, f no cufflinks. Where can I go look for all my bag, nothing, and not, not only that, my toothpaste lid had come off and it had squirted that white toothpaste all over me things, all over me jacket. I thought, oh, I'm glad I'm not married anymore. She's going to forensically have that tested in case it's some Mariah flying around. Anyway, so I decided, has anyone got cufflinks? I looked round at all the crew. They're all scruffy buggers, aren't they? If you could see my lot, a it's seriously, it's like a Jeremy Kyle reject green room where they've been sponsored by millets. Anyway, so I said to one of the crew, 
where can I get some uh, cufflinks? He went, in Portsmouth? Yeah. Oh. So I, I thought he must be joking. So I walked down the pier seeing all these people who share a tooth and, and the people that are just... Anyway, so I get in the car and I drive around Portsmouth and I, it, to be honest, I love the people from Portsmouth, but Portsmouth Town Centre, oof, I mean, it is a mess. It's all boarded up. I mean, it does, it's very cosmopolitan, if you get my drift, but there's graffiti everywhere in different languages. You know that Arabic language looks like toenail clipping? That's everywhere. All boarded up, derelict, scruffy, dirty, and old. And then I saw a sign pointing that way, Old Portsmouth. Fuck me, there's one older than this? So anyway, I park up and I go to Gunwolf Qway. Uh, Quay, Gunwolf Key. Parked up where it said no parking, under a pound fine. So I had a quick check to make sure there wasn't any uh, cameras. Left my car there, put my disabled sticker on it, put the clamp on the wheel already and a parking ticket. Take no prisoners, me. And I walked down to Gunwolf Key and I saw these people that go in shops that I won't, I don't go, I'm snob. So I walked along, no cufflink shops. There's all the shops that are the same, aren't they? All this pound shops. And they have prices on things. So about, it's all a pound, isn't it? So anyway, I go into a shop and there's these two big boned girls with uh, no idea of makeup and uh, all look alike, 12 seat of rib lips, eyebrows like this. And I said, hello. Hiya. That, that's a young person for hello. Hiya. I said, cufflinks. They did this. Hmm? What? Cufflinks. I thought, they must have thought I was, uh, it was a name for them, like snowflakes. I'd made a new name up for these idiots. Cufflinks? No, Sagittarius. No, do you sell cufflinks? <laughs> no. And do you know what they are? No. But do you know where I can get cufflinks for a shirt? Oh! No. So I walked around everywhere, Gun Wolf Key. It, it, it's as if they built a shopping mall for people who are never going to spend a penny, who've only got a couple of pennies to spend, which included me. So I thought, mm, what am I going to do? I can't drive all the way home. I've got to find some cufflinks. I drove to shops. I drove to Old Portsmouth, which, which was quite nice, Old Portsmouth against New Portsmouth. And I drove back to South Sea and I thought, right, well, I'll just have to roll my sleeves up and go on in my shirt sleeves, you know, like I've been cleaning the car. So as I was walking up the pier where the show is tonight, on the left is an arcade. Kijing. Right, so I had a quick walk in because I was bought. Actually, I see a couple of birds in there. So I walked in to have a little, you know, follow around <laughs> like you do. And there is one of those cranes. You know these things in the glass that come down like that? And you see, you see sitting and it goes... I got it! 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 Oh, for, for. And you try and get it again, don't you? All the they should make a like tipping point. They should make a they they should sort of make a TV program about that, shouldn't they? They put little Philip Schofield in there, and you pick him up like that and hang the bastard. No, they're in the middle of these cuddly toys and furbies, freebies, and whatever they're called. Was a box of cufflinks. You couldn't make this up, and I got them. I got my cufflinks from one of them fairground cranes. You know how much they cost me, them? 318 quid in pound coins. But I've got them in the end. I've also got 15 Furbies, two curly whirlies, and a finger making mechanical prawns. There you go. Right, folks, so come and see us. Come and see us tonight. Me, Jimmy Jones, Mike Osmond's joining us tonight. Great, Bobby Davro. He's still on from last night. Nothing new there. Okay, folks, come and join us here at Ustream. We need you. We want you. We want to be the best TV program in the fucking world. Let's go. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to go to ustream.com and sign up. If you're a cheapskate, click subscribe down below and then turn notifications on so you never miss another video.